Hello, hello, this is Al from MacMessage.com and today I want to talk about malware bytes and why you shouldn't use its free version. Some time ago I wrote an article about keyloggers and ways to find out if you have a keylogger on your Mac. I propose to use malware bytes as a solution. Now let me show what I mean. So here I have uh, two keyloggers on my Mac. Uh, as you can see, there is a refog and a lead key logger, uh, and they are in visible mode because I'm using free trial versions for this demo. Uh, let's go to Safari and download Malwarebytes, and we want to download the free version. So download started. Uh, Let's run installer, continue, 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 agree, install, enter a password. And the installation is successful. So let's get started. Uh, this is a personal computer, so select one. And I want to use free malware bytes. Uh, I don't need to enter the password. I'm sorry, email. And let's run a scan. Boom. So as you can see, malware bytes was able to find uh, the key loggers I had on my Mac. It's cool, right? Well, not so fast. Uh, let me first quarantine um, the threads. And what I want, I want to restart. I will pause the video until it restarts and continue. So my Mac restarted, uh, as you can see there are six items in quarantine and uh, now I hit scan again. As you can see it says no threats, no PUP, potentially unwanted uh, programs detected. So I must be free, right? So my Mac is uh, has no threats, any threats uh, on, on, the, on the hard drive. Well, that's not true. When I was working on testing anti-malware solutions for my Mac, I downloaded, let me show you, 117 malware samples on my Mac and they're all in this folder. By the way, if you're interested and want to find out which antivirus detects all malware, check a link in the comments below. Now let's get back to malware bytes. I ran the scan and as you can see it didn't find anything. Really? So now I'm safe and I have no virus threats, right? Well, Let's see what will happen if I start one of those malware samples. Uh, if you go to Edwind, start it. Uh, this notification comes from Apple. The macOS does not want you uh, to download random stuff from the internet. But if we really want to, we can always ignore it, right? Uh, let's go to System Preferences, click OK. Security privacy, and we can say open anyway. Open. Something happened? Well, I don't know. There is nothing on the screen, and most importantly, malware bytes, which is running, right? You see, it's running on the background. So, malware bytes didn't trigger any alarm. But if you know where to look, you can go to show you. 
Kintosh users developer and let me show hidden hidden folders you see this one that comes from Advent and if we go further library launch agents you see this one that's uh, also comes from Advent Advent is a type of backdoor it can download malicious software on your Mac it can execute uh, remote commands send data it collected to the server controlled by a hacker and also it can record you through the webcam now let's go back to my virus folder and start another one um, let's see Callisto it comes as a DMG file it's a disk image uh, if you click agree look uh, you see it disguises itself as an anti antivirus uh, in this case uh, Integral by the way it's one of the recommended uh, antivirus solutions uh, but this is not a real antivirus it looks like it is but it's not so again we go to security privacy allow to run and it does say integral antivirus wants to make changes enter your password I will enter my password it doesn't do anything and I enter the correct password but the thing is it doesn't want me to do anything uh, it doesn't want to install antivirus because it, it is not an antivirus again if you know where to look uh, you can find see this one Calista so it's a folder where it stores all of its uh, uh, files uh, so what Callista does, uh, it's another backdoor malware, it uh, gives remote access to the hacker, it enables remote login, screen sharing, uh, creates a hidden root account, all this uh, cool stuff. Again, malware bytes didn't say anything. Okay, now let's look at the last one. Uh, where were virus? Empire. it looks like a discord app again you go through all this usual stuff open anyway open you think you installed discord app uh, so you can communicate with other gamers but it's not instead what discord does it takes screenshots and sends them to the hackers now look at this um, discord app it's a malware it's doing something something really bad so does malware bytes know about all of these threats yes it does but m why malware bytes allowed me to install all of this malware the answer is simple free version of malware bytes as you can see does not provide real-time protection now let's see what happens if we run a scan manually start scan Ta-da! as you can see it found all the malware uh, I was able to install uh, on this uh, Mac so and this is my point if you have free version of malware bytes you have to run scans manually all the time and even then you don't know how much of your data has been stolen between scans uh, 
the free and premium solutions, the, the detection mechanism, detection software is the same. The only problem is it's not running all the time. So what's the solution? If you use malware bytes, use premium version if you want to be safe. If you like this video and want to be up to date on Mac security, please subscribe to my channel Mac Mythos. See you.